Mi hijo Brian fue un niño muy feliz, cariñoso, buen hermano, adoraba a sus hermanos. Por favor, necesito respuestas, necesito justicia, porque no quiero que otro niño, su madre, toda su familia, sufran ni pasen lo que mi hijo, mi familia y yo estamos pasando. First of all, my deepest sympathies for the loss of Brian. I can't even fathom that. As a father, I can't imagine that heartbreak. Does, does the department have a liaison with whatever agency is investigating it? I'm going to presume that it's still an active investigation because if somebody's supplying drugs into our facility and it results in a death, there is criminal culpability that goes with that that needs to be followed up on. But I'm going to make a motion at this time that the department provide the POC an update on what agency is conducting the in-custody death, what is the status of that investigation, and do we have a liaison to that? This commission did put out that if something didn't change, that something like this would happen. We said it loud. That will give you no comfort. There is a lot of change going on, and a lot of the momentum is because of Brian. There's a lot more transparency and the reason why is because you have credible messengers and they're formerly incarcerated people, some of them in this audience, some of them from HDA, some of them from ARC that are in there every single day. And they report out everything. And anything that happens that is harmful, it's immediately reported to probation and the probation commission. And then it goes to the Board of Supervisors. And sometimes it goes directly to the Board of Supervisors. They are, we are in the process of creating a drug treatment unit that will be staffed by DMH, Department of Mental Health, outside therapists and credible messengers that are trained in drug and alcohol counseling. Right now, there are also talks with DMH, Department of Mental Health, to have therapists come in that are more culturally sensitive to both the Black and Latino youth that are, that are the majority in there that come out of our communities. The number of programs that are now in Barry J have at least quadrupled. None of this takes away the pain. But because of Brian, all of these things are changing more, much more rapidly.